So it's currently still dark outside because, well, it's around 4.15 a.m. Going on a road trip today and it is about 800 miles to North Carolina. I'm going to be using the privacy oriented Graphene OS, which is an alternate to the default Android installed on the Google Pixel. I'm currently using the most recent update, which is Android 12 on the Pixel 5a. I'm going to be testing some common functions you would normally use on a road trip. So let's see how Graphene OS does. So it's been about eight hours since I filmed that intro in my driveway. I'm currently at a rest stop in South Carolina. Got the dog in the back. So the biggest thing in my mind on any road trip that you gotta worry about is navigation. So the first task was finding an app that would work well for navigation over the course of 800 miles. So I'm actually using the app Magic Earth and it has the feature to actually download the maps locally. So I downloaded Florida, Georgia, South Carolina, and North Carolina to it. So the biggest perk of this while also saving data on your cell phone plan is that while you're driving, sometimes you do lose service. So I've used Apple Maps in the past and I've had issues where I'll actually lose signal and I just see a blue dot on the screen just moving across a map without anything actually on it. So while this isn't a big deal if you stay on that same route, if you need to change route at all or switch the direction you're taking or you stop and recalculate the route, you lose all connection, the map can't find the route and you're kinda SOL. So I also have a car that supports Android Auto. So while Android Auto does not work because Google services are not installed on the OS, I do have a fancy suction cup holder to hold my phone. Is it ideal? No. Does it work? You can be the judge of that. It actually hasn't been too bad so far. It is kind of annoying because I can't easily switch to music or podcasts while I'm driving as I could with Android Auto. But does it get the job done? I can see the map. Magic Earth has been working great so far. Can't complain. So the other major task on any road trip is actually finding and ordering food. So you might have guessed it from the channel name or you thought I lacked creativity or all the good names were gone but I really like burritos. So for lunch, I can order something using the Chipotle app and see how that goes. You might have noticed if you use the Aurora store at all that sometimes an app is not shown. So if we search for Chipotle, we can see here it shows Chipotle Mexican Grill FR. Uh, it took me a little while to figure out what was going on with that. I was wondering if something was wrong with the region lock on the phone or something along those lines. But the reason you see local apps to France is that the anonymous account token that's generated when you're using Aurora app store anonymously is based out of France. Therefore, that token is generated on their server, not your device. It's just one other way to increase your privacy. The downside is you get region locked apps to France, and that does not really help me when I'm trying to order a burrito in the United States. So to bypass this, they actually have a feature on the phone, so you don't actually need to sign in with your Google account to get it. From the home screen in the Aurora store, you click the top right menu, go into settings, networking. You're going to enable the insecure anonymous session. Go ahead and enable that. And now for that to actually get applied, you need to log out and log back in. So we're going to go to accounts. We're going to log out of the anonymous one, log back in anonymous. And now when we go and search for the Chipotle app, we can see we have the regular Chipotle app for the US. So do be aware when you enable this option, Google will get your IP address and device information. I don't know if they get anything else, but that's what I found so far online that they get. But if you need the version of the app, the correct version without signing with an account, to me, this is a pretty good option. So at this point, currently sitting in the parking lot of a gas station called Stucky's, which I did not know this, but they have dog parks at these. So you can actually take your dog, run around. That's exactly what she was doing. But now that we are parked, it is time to order some food. So let's bring up the Chipotle app and see if the location services work with it on Graphene OS. Because if they don't, that would really kind of suck. Because I don't know where I am. So I'm going to use precise location while using the app. Chipotle won't run without Google Play services. Well, that's a bummer. It looks like we'll be placing our order via the web browser. Uh, let's give that a try. So we can see the Chipotle app would not work because Google Play services are not installed. But using Magic Earth, if we bring the app up, we can click the share button. And we can see my current address, Summerton, South Carolina. So we're gonna go back to Chipotle web and search Summerton, South Carolina to see what comes up. Order now. We're going to order a bowl. Let's do pickup. Let's see Summerton, Summerton, South Carolina. Cool, good to go. Found some Chipotles. Let's see if the food order actually works and I'll come back if we got some food. 
So this recording is obviously not from the road trip, but what happened shortly after was I looked for the closest Chipotle location on Magic Earth using the information I had from the Chipotle website, and I found out the closest location was around 50 miles out of my way. So needless to say, skip Chipotle, just drove through and had some snacks that I brought along the way. So I actually did end up eventually ordering Chipotle and the web browser worked seamlessly. So I've been using Magic Earth around my city for the past few months and it's been working well, but I figured this was the first real test for it. Crossing through multiple states, 1600 mile round trip, and it worked flawlessly. Turn by turn directions were great. I used it to find a nearby gas station while driving. And I also saw that it has different traffic alerts, so if there's a traffic jam, it'll present an alternate route you can take. The entire experience reminded me of using Apple Maps, so I was very happy about that. No issues, never got lost, and the ETAs were accurate as well. So as you can see from the screen, had some classics playing on the road trip. The audio and the video is muted because YouTube would not appreciate me playing copyrighted music. But the Bluetooth integration with my car did work well. The buttons on my steering wheel to change song and increase and decrease the volume worked perfect. And also Magic Earth played through the speakers of my vehicle for the turn-by-turn -turn directions. So overall Bluetooth integration with Graphene OS worked perfect. It's not Android Auto, but it did work. Hello? Hi, honey. Are you making your video for your friends? Hi, Grandma. Uh, they're called subscribers because not all of them like me like friends, but yes, I'm making a video for them. Oh, that is so nice. Please tell your friends I said hi. Thanks, Grandma. I will. See you soon. Bye. Bye, sweetie. Bye. So as you can see from that little phone call, the Bluetooth integration with the car for phone calls worked great. You can also adjust the volume with that, and you can also use the buttons on the steering wheel to answer and hang up the call. So overall, great integration, worked perfect.